let's make a globe inset map. We've made an inset map in the last part about uh, you know an inset map zooming into a certain area on Nantucket. Let's let's zoom back and and use make a globe locator map kind of a you know nice looking way to do it. Uh, this used to be a little more complicated, but in the later versions of QGIS, they've uh, made this a lot simpler with a custom projection system. You could in the old days you could go in and uh, kind of build your own wasn't that difficult to kind of manipulate that code but now it, it's kind of comes installed in uh in QGIS so it's a nice little trick so let's um first thing I'm going to do is change my coordinate system to um some you know some a mercator or something that shows the whole world you know um this is zoomed into Nantucket kind of zooming way out wouldn't really work so let's make that change first uh, and let's put a, um, this is a natural earth data set. You know, this is, it's another lecture about how to, to get this data. It's a great set. So here is kind of the Northeastern United States, uh, Eastern Canada area and natural earth, uh, data. And, um, that looks great. So let's, let's use that that way. The inset map on the globe, it's large enough that we can see it. So let's go to our layouts. We'll use our standard 11 by 17 layout. And here we are. Now let's make a, a globe here that shows where we are on the earth. So what we're going to do is add a map, draw a box, and I've got the exact same thing. Fair enough. Okay, that's fine. What we need to do is to turn this into our globe. Before I do anything, though, I'm going to change this to change the name of it in my items to globe just to help me keep things straight in my my tiny brain uh, and what we're going to do next is we're going to change the coordinate system of this map inset and i'm going to use the the drop down i have the the world from space here 102038 if you don't have it in there uh you can you know i if once you have it once this is like the, all the latest ones i've used you can go into your your main map view and click this button down on the bottom right and get your, your project properties, CRS, and you can just type in world and it'll show up or 102038 if you wanted to. Uh, and then, you know, let's do it that way. So go back to our, our layout and we have the world from space. Okay change a little bit but doesn't really show much let's zoom out we're gonna go to move the item content and and roll my mouse wheel back and now i have a globe isn't that nice you know it all depends on your background and what you're gonna where it looks best i'm gonna zoom out a little bit and uh so that's nice i got this nice globe here um i can get rid of the background if i want to right kind of make it float there a little bit better but that's you know that's nice so now i've got this nice globe um good that's great but how do we do that inset map it's just like we did before we are going to i'm going to click on make sure that the, the globe inset map is selected go to overviews uh, i'm going to change this to the the red bars which i like and i'm going to set map frame to main map and there you go now you have a globe inset map showing everything here. You know, I mean, it blends in a little bit. You know, I may, uh, you know, if I went back here and kind of change this a little bit. And what I actually, oh, what I've got to do is lock this. Same drill as before. Let's do this. Go back, hit refresh. I'm going to lock this layer to keep that natural earth data and now I'll switch back in my main map hit refresh and that looks that looks better because a little bit of a differentiation in the colors so you can see what that looks like there you go global overview maps